Hello and good morning. Yes, it's early. Well, not that early, I guess. Nah, 10 o'clock. I wanted to show you something though. Uh, folks that uh, don't generally drive electric cars uh, always have questions and this is one of them. I'm going to have a look here. Now, if you look at the power graph, you'll notice that where it says KW, uh, if I accelerate a little, you can see I'm using energy. If I decelerate, there's absolutely no regeneration. Now, what's regeneration? That's when the car wants to dynamically slow down. The motors turn to generators, which charge that energy back into the battery. Because the battery is so cold, it will not take a charge uh, very well. It charges very slow at this temperature. Uh, yeah, it's 34 degrees, but the car sat out all night, and I think it was 25 or something overnight. When uh, the car sits idle, uh, the battery cools down. Uh, the benefit is, is it's 70% there. I'm headed to Rollins, 45 miles away and back. I don't need to charge. The battery will still give up its energy, even though uh, it's very cold and will not accept a charge. I know that sounds weird, but that's really the case. I'll uh, head up to Rollins and back, and I'll show you what it looks like when I, uh, I'm just about home here. I will not charge in Rollins. I'm north of Saratoga now. I'm uh, 37 miles from my destination, but if you look real careful, just below the word KW there, you'll see that uh, it's starting to warm up the battery. And I'll uh, show you. Let me take autopilot off. And you see a little green there? Yep, the battery's starting to warm up a little bit. So uh, we'll see that as we drive along here. The battery self heats a little bit. Let's have a look around. just at our turn here at Interstate 80. We'll uh, go under the overpass here and uh, head that way. See, the battery's starting to warm up. I'm gonna actually have to use the friction brakes no here. turn left to take the Interstate 80 west round. Normally one pedal driving, I never even touch them. But it's a good thing when the battery's not real warm to uh, actually use them. As you can see, uh, dots are starting to go away. All right, we're heading up on uh, Interstate uh, 80 westbound here now. We're due to get some snow here, so uh, it's supposed to be this afternoon. We're up here on Interstate 80 westbound. We've got 14 miles to our turn. It's about halfway to Rollins here. And uh, let's have a look here now. We look over on the uh, battery power meter we have no upper limit, so we can get 600 uh, kilowatts plus. That's uh, 700 horsepower or something. But uh, you notice the dotted lines are uh, starting to diminish, which means the battery's warming up a little bit. Should, we've driven, uh, I don't know, probably 28 miles now. Anyway, um, it'll uh, continue to diminish, which allows to uh, the regen to go back into the battery here real soon. 37, and we're into a headwind. Just off the off-ramp here in Rollins, you can see I'm um, just letting it coast, and uh, that's as much regen as we have. It's okay, it's still cold, 37, and you can see all the dust inside of the car. 
It's terrible. It's okay. It's due for a good cleaning up here. This is the town of Rollins, Wyoming. If you've not seen any of my videos, you'll know that uh, right there is the Tesla supercharger in the parking lot of the Fairfield Inn. Got a bunch of errands going on today. First stop is License Plate Bureau. I've got to uh, get a license plate. I just paid the taxes on my new trailer. And now I've got to do some shopping here in Rollins. Kind of interesting. Look at the church. It's just jammed right in the very corner here. It's kind of cool looking. Interesting architecture. Dang it. Damn maintenance is going to drive me into the poorhouse. Dang. Oops, see if I can get it in the hole. Doing all this maintenance is such a pain. It's very expensive. Look at that. Five bucks. Get a loan. There we go. Maintenance finished. Just completed my stop here at Wally World. And uh, now I'm headed over to a place called Bombgars. It's a uh, garden center, not a, wear, not a uh, hardware store, but kind of one of those uh, egg type places. Hey, this may be some good news here at the EA station. Let's uh, spin around here real quick. This happens to be in the same parking lot as the uh, Bombgars. I've checked on it now for a better part of a month. And uh, the uh, plastic is off of the uh, deals here. Let me uh, just pull it over here and see if there's uh, any life on the screen here. We'll take a quick look been waiting uh, for a while. I don't need it, of course. There's a supercharger right across the street. Well, we're closer, maybe. Uh, no, no life. The uh, plastic's off the handles. Maybe it's just dead. They tend to do that. No, that one's dead on a doornail. Check this one. Oh, look at this. They left the lock unlocked on the station. Not very smart. All right. And then uh, this one, it's dead too. All right. They're closer maybe. Somebody took the plastic off the handles. I could open the cabinet here, but uh, I think they forgot to lock it. Okay. All right. Well... No change, their EA station is still dead here. Yeah, I came up uh, Zilcho here at Baumgars. They didn't have what I want. We're going over to RP. I am just leaving the wonderful town of Rollins, Wyoming. Stopped and got a Scottish lunch and now getting on the interstate here. Headed eastbound on Interstate 80. We're at 48% and a quick check of the temp. As you can see, we uh, had a half-warmed battery so far, but it didn't affect our range. We're still showing 48% here. All right, let's get to it. You don't see that very often. Spotted Mountains kind of looks like a cow. just off Interstate 80 and I'm coasting here. You can see I uh, have regen now but it's not full regen. I can actually push the, turn right onto Wyoming 130. the friction brakes here. Let's have a look around. That's Elk Mountain out there. And then over there is Kennedy Peak. Let's have a look here at our power meter and it looks like uh, the battery is now warm. We have no limitation on region. It is 44 degrees and uh, we 
we've got 34%. I think our arrival is uh, 27%. So we didn't lose any energy, of course, uh, what we had, but we had no uh, ability to take any of the regen and put it back in the battery. Close to the town of Saratoga, as you can see, looks like uh, we got a little precipitation going on. A little snow over there. We had a forecast of a little snow, so we'll see what happens. And there's Saratoga with all the gleaming roofs. Made a quick stop at the hardware store here in Saratoga. We bought some paint and uh, instead of a gallon worth of color, they only put in a uh, quart worth. So the guy adjusted his formula and uh, all is good. Now we got the job of putting it on the walls. Nice. There we go, full regen. Yep. Back home now and uh, it's 27% and uh, it's 126, 43 degrees and I've got 27% left. I left with 70, so that makes it 63% I used all the way to Rollins messing around and, and back. If you like today's video and you learned something more importantly, that an electric car like the Tesla here, even though it's very cold, once the battery is charged, it will still give up its energy and give you the range you want. However, when it's very cold, it's indicated by those dots, it means that it would be very slow to charge until the battery warms up. So that's what we learned today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe as you know I'd certainly appreciate it and take care.